Wait, where are you guys headed today? My dad's taking me to the movies. All right, well, the movies will have to wait because we'll go to the movie for the <laughs> All right, do you want to play? Yeah. yeah sure. Okay, all right. Who do I have with me? Danny. And? Adam. All right, Danny and Adam, let's play a game of Would You Rather? Okay, I'll ask you a question and you have to choose which thing you'd rather do and then actually do it. Okay, you'll want to successfully complete all of your chosen activities for a chance to win a brand new car. New car. New car. Are you excited? Yes. yes all absolutely. right. Okay, okay Danny, Danny, you're, you're up, up first. first. Would you rather eat an old goldfish found on the floorboard of the car or this old gum that I found on the street? A goldfish. Oh, a goldfish. Good, good okay. call. Good call. Uh, uh, oh, okay. There you go. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> swallow. You got to swallow. Got to swallow. All right, let me see. Oh, she did it! Good job! Good job All girl. right. Okay, Adam. Now it's your turn. Okay. Would you rather wear a sock filled with mayonnaise or eat booger-flavored candy? Uh, boogers are gross. I think I'll do the mayonnaise. Okay. All right. Here's the sock. Ooh. Oh, gross! <laughs> yeah, it's that's God. No, it's a no for me. Oh. oh. All right, all right, back to Danny. All right, Danny, it's your turn. Would you rather eat toasted crickets or put your hand in yogurt-filled gloves? I'm going with toasted crickets. Going with the toasted crickets. Hope you're hungry. Oh, gross. I don't... You, gotta do, you gotta do it. You can do it, girl. I believe in you. You got it. Ew, it's staring at me. Just close your eyes and throw it in. <laughs> Pinch your nose if you have to. Oh, it's moving. It, no, it's dead. They're dead. They're not Very moving. much it's dead. Moving, it's moving. It's moving. It's <laughs> moving. All right. It's my turn. You don't think you can do it? Okay. okay. Throw it out the window. No, oh, she wasn't able to do it. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh no, I did my hair. <laughs> All right, Adam. Okay. <laughs> Final turn. Would you rather drink dirt soda or eat flaming hot Doritos? Oh. Neither of those sound very good. I'm not a very, I don't do hot very well, so I'll, I guess I'll try the dirt soda. All right, dirt soda it is. Here you go. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Shoveled and bottled. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Jack! Oh, it's oh, gross. No. Oh, no. What's up, everybody? I'm Miles, and I'm excited to explore the city, meet new people, and discover more about the armor of God. How awesome would it be to walk into school every day carrying one of these? Or maybe this? Or even this? You might get some odd looks, but it would definitely protect you from any paper airplanes the class clown sends your way. This bad boy is an ancient Roman shield known as a scutum, and soldiers used it for protection in every type of battle because it's as large as a door. I know, I know, you, you can't really carry that into school every day, but you can carry this, the shield of faith. It's part of God's invisible armor, and it's used to protect us from more than just some pesky paper airplanes. In fact, it blocks anything the devil tries to send our way. 
You know, the devil's a pretty sneaky creature and wants to make us doubt God and what he says. But the shield of faith helps us choose to trust God and his promises, like the one found in Romans 8, 28, that he works all things for our good, even the things that disappoint us. When we read God's word every day, it helps build our faith. And there's no way the enemy can make us doubt God and what he says when we hold up the shield of faith. Everybody get on your feet. It's time to sing. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God. The full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God First things first, you got the belt of truth Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand Against every evil plan, plan, plan Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong He has won I put on the full armor of God Against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God Great singing. You can take a seat. It's time to play Fun Bus Trivia. Which of these U.S. cities has the most McDonald's? A. Columbia B. Dallas C. Orlando Or D. Brooklyn Shout out your best guess! Dallas, Texas has the most McDonald's of any city in the United States with a total of 64 in one city. It's time for our next question. The world's largest candy store can be found in which city? A. London B. Los Angeles C. Beijing Or D. Cleveland Let's hear your best guess now. The largest candy store in the world, the Sweetie Candy Company, is located in Cleveland, Ohio and has 40,000 square feet of candy. How's that for taking care of a sweet tooth? Ready for one last question? Which city has the largest garbage dump in the world? A. Tokyo B. San Francisco C. Las Vegas Or D. Mexico City Shout it out! Las Vegas, Nevada has the largest garbage dump in the world. It sits on 2,200 acres of land. That's almost 2,000 football fields lined up together. Great job playing our game! Even though you can't see it, there is a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. You would think that followers of Jesus would never doubt that Jesus could do anything, but that's actually a part of the battle. Jesus healed many people and showed them many examples of God's power. One evening, Jesus asked his followers to go with him across the lake, so they left the crowds of people they'd been helping and went with Jesus. As they were on the water, the winds grew stronger and the waves started coming up over the sides of the boat, filling it with water. When Jesus was inside the boat, sleeping with his head on a pillow, 
his followers came to find him. They woke him up and asked Jesus if he even cared about them. They were afraid he was going to let them drown. Jesus got up and gave a command to the wind and the water. He told the storm to be still. Immediately, the wind stopped and the lake became calm. Jesus asked his followers why they had been so afraid and wanted to know why they didn't have any faith. They didn't really say, but they did talk about how the wind and the waves obeyed Jesus that day. Jesus came to earth to show us that we can believe and trust in all of God's promises, like God's promise that He's in control of everything, even the wind and the waves, or about how He will watch over us and give us everything we need, and He'll forgive us and always love us. The devil doesn't want us to have faith in God, though, so he tries to throw lies and tricks at us to get us to stop believing in what God says. That's why God has given us the shield of faith. When we trust in every word God says to us, we'll be able to block anything the devil tries to send our way. We can hold up the shield of faith. Hold up the shield of faith. Everybody get on your feet. Let's play red light, green light. Listen for the motion, and when you see the green light, do it as fast as you can. When you see the yellow light, take it into slow motion. But when the light turns red, everybody stop. Ready? Round one, jog in place. Round two, jumping jacks. Round three, hop on one foot. It's Joe on the Go, and I'm Joe Miller, coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Today is going to be so great. We're meeting up with Sam, a real world lifesaver. <gasps> oh, that sound can only mean one thing. Sam's here, come on. Hey Sam, thanks for hanging out with us today. Hey Joe, it's so great to be on your show. I love Joe on the Go. But now Sam here is an EMT, which is seriously the coolest. Hey, why don't you tell everyone what exactly it is you do? So EMT stands for Emergency Medical Technician. My job is basically to be ready at any moment to handle a medical emergency. Like if someone got hurt and called for help, I jump in the ambulance and get there as fast as possible. Amazing. Okay, so let's talk about this sweet ride that you have. There is so much stuff going on in there. Can you give us a little tour? Sure. The back of the ambulance is where patients go to be treated while en route to the hospital. They most likely be loaded in on a stretcher, which is when we would figure out how to help them the best way possible. We have tons of important equipment, like heart monitors for EKGs, but also simple things like band-aids. So your job is to come to work and be ready to save lives each and every day. Wow, that actually sounds like a lot of pressure. It really can be. Each day is so different from the next, and you never really know what to expect. Sometimes it can be really scary. I bet. So when you're driving up on a call and feeling tons of uncertainty, you know, because you don't know what's about to happen and everything, what keeps you calm and confident during it all? Well, there is one huge thing that helps. That's the shield of faith. Oh, I should have known. That's one of the parts of the armor of God. 
That's right, the shield of faith helps us trust God's promises and block out any lies or tricks that the enemy tries to send our way. I have so much more confidence when I hold it up. I bet. Well, tell us more about how our faith can be such a strong shield. Faith gives us confidence in God even when we can't see what He's doing. It also protects us from our own fears. You see, the enemy wants us to second guess our abilities and doubt who God has created us to be. But with the shield of faith, we can defend ourselves. So when a super tough emergency comes your way, it might be easy to believe it's too hard for you or that you won't be able to make a difference. But that's when you hold up the shield of faith, right? You got it. God created me and gave me gifts to help people. But if I lose sight of that and give up, then I've lost the battle. But that won't happen with the shield of faith. That is seriously so awesome. Sam, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and for giving us the inside scoop. Oh, hey, maybe when you're done, you could show me how to turn on the siren, you know, like a real pro. No problem, Joe. I'll meet you up front and show you more of the ambulance. Oh, awesome. Well, that's it for us today. Join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. Hold up the shield of faith. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to see. singing, you can take a seat. Let's review what we've learned today. Try to memorize the cards before the timer runs out. Time's up. Which number has the match? Shout it out. You found the first match. True or false, the shield of faith has the power to defend us against the doubts the devil sends our way. True. When we hold up the shield of faith, we can protect ourselves from the enemy's lies and tricks. Let's find the next match. Find the match. Shout it out. You got it. Here's our next question. Jamari is going to a new school and is afraid he will be all alone. What piece of God's armor should Jamari use? The shield of faith. 
Jamari can hold up the shield of faith by remembering a promise from God's Word found in Isaiah 40.10, where God says, Do not be afraid, I am with you. Let's find another one. Which number has the match? Shout it out! It's time for one more question. In today's Bible story, did Jesus ask his followers why they didn't have faith or why they didn't have bait? That's right, Jesus' followers didn't have faith, but Jesus calmed the storm anyway so they could see they could trust and believe in him. Great job playing our game. Everybody say this together. Every day, I will put on the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth. To fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness. To protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots. To tell others about Jesus. I hold up the shield of faith. To block what the devil sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation. To remember God always loves me. I hold up the sword of the Spirit. God's word is my best weapon. Now I stand firm and pray. Hey God, thank you for giving us the shield of faith to block anything the devil sends our way. Please grow our faith and trust in you. We love you. Amen.